Australia looks to the Philippines to take in some of its refugees that arrive by boat. Um, it's something's in discussion at the moment, and Cambodia and Papua New Guinea already take in some of these refugees, and it's bit it's very very controversial and political, but is it right or wrong is the question the first thing I would ask is how many of them are actually refugees because we have the same problem in Europe at the moment because uh, you keep saying Syrian refugees then you're finding people from Bangladesh India um, the Balkan states etc etc um, you get legitimate people then I mean in Europe what seems to be the majority are not from the war zones that the media are selling it as so if you take it from that stance then I could understand Australia's point of view that the fact is they don't know who's coming um, if you if everybody was coming from the same uh, war zone then maybe it'd have a bit more compassion and sympathy yes people want a better life yes it should be more available um, yes the West often plays devil's advocate but at the same time, they're all coming from countries that do already have their own governance, etc. And running away from the problem doesn't really fix it. And I know, yes, it's very easy for me to say this sitting in Spain. But I would also say it's all about legitimacy. If these people are legitimately leaving a war zone, um, I would say... I would consider giving them more help. If I'm not sure, maybe Australia is right to take this tough stance. And the reason I would say taking this tough stance is important because what happens in Europe is we open the floodgates because when people started coming across from Turkey, etc., into um, Western Europe, the media portrayed it as if they were leaving Syria to come to Europe and into Greece, etc when they weren't, they were already in Turkey. Turkey is a safe neighbour. May not have a great life there, which is another issue, but at the same time, you're not in a war zone. We, this is where people start losing their way a bit and it all gets a bit political because they separate refugees from migration. Um, if you look at the migration issue, which is where you've got people now going okay we're coming out of North Africa we're coming out of India Pakistan uh, Bangladesh etc and riding along with these Syrian guys there's a problem um, so I can understand Australia going you know what no we're not having it because what we had is a few people have died when I say a few a few thousand um, then the Ha there was this change where they were getting rescued and when people know the boats are being rescued they then go full throttle they start launching everything because it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you won't get all the way somebody's going to pick you up one of them coast guard vessels will pick you up and they're not bringing you back to the port you left they're taking you to Greece they're taking you to Italy they're taking you to Spain um, and I think this is why well it's probably why Australia's taking a different stance saying well well we don't want you here um, but we will give you some resettlement somewhere else now I will say if you're from a, another nation you've got to really struggle in the Philippines uh, also I'd have to look at whether they're actually going to get Filipino status because as a foreigner which I am and these people are likely to be if they're not given status they can't work so I do question what the advantages for the people and um, I know from the government's point of view it moves the problem but also sends a very tough message that you're not welcome if you come by boat but I would also say is it fair if there was legitimate refugees to get sent to the Philippines um, because the aid stuff I've seen in the Philippines um, disasters that are two three years old 
people are still living in shacks and stuff and have not been moved on they've not been um, put back in a scenario to get them back on their feet um, this is why I'm not a fan of aid camps aid camps create stagnation but I'm going to be off tangent here but the main thing is there's some Philippine conversations going on with, between the Philippines and Australia but personally I don't think it's going to be advantageous for the people but it may work to Australia's benefit in a big no no you're not welcome here is it right or wrong I'll leave that vote to you